Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any of our platforms. Please reach out to me directly. My email is tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing a watch that was launched back in 2010 and represents possibly the core member of the sprawling IWC Portuguese line. This is the the Portuguese hand wound, the timepiece that you see right here, reference 545404 in stainless steel, 44 millimeters in diameter by only 10.3 millimeters thick, from lug tip to lug tip, 51.9 millimeters, with a broad 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. On my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see the watch is broad and flat, easily fitting underneath the cuff. The Portuguese was the original purpose-built oversized dress watch, launched in 1939 at the behest of IWC's Portuguese importers. The idea was to create a wrist watch that was as accurate as a pocket watch. At the time, the only way to do that was to fit a pocket watch movement, so a case of sufficient size was devised. It was not a converted pocket watch, but a purpose-built dress watch that just happened to have a large and very accurate caliber. As a result, this modern model, which is larger than the original, continues in that vein, still being a dress watch with a lovely elegance and an impressive aspect ratio that makes it look wafer thin and saucer-like across the wrist. My wrist, 16 centimeters circumference, you can see from over the top, the watch has lugs out to the edge, but not over the edge. Down the barrel, you can see also that the lugs are at the edge, maybe even a little bit inboard, so if your wrist is my size or larger, you're going to wear this well. If your wrist is smaller, you're going to want to look for a smaller Portuguese. But in any case, it will fit easily underneath the cuff. The watch features a robust and substantial large rectangular symmetrical scale alligator leather strap. Large rectangular symmetrical scales represent one of the most expensive and finest cuts of the alligator hide. So this is a premium strap. There is some bolstering or stuffing to give it volume. It has a monotone stitch. It has a sheer cut side showing the layers of leather. Black calfskin on the bottom, and you can see no crimping, no gouging. This is an IWC factory strap, and it is matched to a IWC factory pin buckle, which incorporates both polish and satination, as does the case. The IWC Portuguese and the Patek Philippe Reference 96 were born of the same era from the same school of thought, with the exception of scale, they're very similar. They have a blended form follows function case lug profile. They have vertically arrayed Arabic numerals on the dial, leaf style hands, small seconds. The 96 is tiny. The original Portuguese or reference 325 from 1939 is large, but they do reflect the same philosophy about no nonsense form function melding that was popular during the 1930s. This watch does feature a super slim case band, courtesy of a relatively thin case. The case back itself is set back, which makes it appear even thinner than it is on the wrist. The lug profiles are tapered and polished on their hoods, and you can see the bezel as well as the case back polished. We have a bezel that features several different steps, vertical, uh, concave, and then flat. So three different steps and three different facets. It is somewhat inset from the case band to visually thin the watch out, and we have a dramatically boxed and cambered sapphire crystal designed to look like a vintage plexi, but it is a sapphire. Vertical satination in between the lugs. We have a crown featuring the IWC logo and the Probus Scafusia motto of the company. Based out of Schaffhausen in northeastern Switzerland, this German-speaking Swiss watchmaker makes good solid watches in Schaffhausen. That's essentially what the motto means. The dial can be described as a rare non-chronograph inverse panda, as we have a sunken sub-register with a concentric pattern inside, a railroad track for reading seconds, a red 60, and a lancet-style counterweighted seconds hand. The watch does feature a hacking or stop seconds function. We have a railroad track outboard for the minutes, and you can see both applied and polished rhodium plated steel Arabic numerals, and then inboard of those four facet applique indices that sit on the track itself. We have polished leaf style hands, and then IWC of Schaffhausen up there. Remember IWC in the German Swiss part of the country, because in 1868, the American founder F.A. Jones found that the French Swiss were not interested in adopting his American production methods and workplace routines. But 
In the Northeast, the German Swiss population was open to these innovations and very rapidly started creating high quality pocket watches under F.A. Jones and other innovations, including one of the first factories to have electrical power. So IWC progressive then, although this watch arguably looking back wistfully at the bygone era of F.A. Jones, because when you turn it over, you get a movement designed to look like a Jones era pocket watch. Now this is the IWC caliber 98295. It is extraordinarily large at over 37 millimeters. It's designed to look like a pocket watch caliber, and indeed it is in many regards. It is a very simple layout with a crown wheel adjacent to the crown, a ratchet wheel atop the barrel. We have an extensible click held by a swan's neck style click spring, just like on a pocket watch. Then we have a center wheel architecture where you have the center, third, fourth, and escape wheel before the anchor and the balance. This is a very traditional layout. We also have a three-quarter style bridge over the train, the barrel, and the keyless work system. So that's very much like a pocket watch. We also have the F.A. Jones Hour or I should say arrow index, which is what this is. It is known as the Jones arrow. And far from hours, it's designed to adjust micrometrically the timing of the watch down to two, three, five seconds a day with precision. The advantage of making it very long is that it's easy to move it in small increments. We also have a giant balance wheel. It's almost the radius of the movement, just like you'd find on a pocket watch. And it beats way at a pocket watch style, 2.5 hertz or 18,000 vibrations per hour. 18 joule movement, adjusted in five positions, which is a high horology and chronometer standard five position adjustment. We have an overcoil hairspring that centers the mass of the hairspring and allows the watch to keep very consistent time in any position. It has a manually wound 46 hour power reserve. And if you look right there adjacent to the, the balance wheel on this side, you can see the world's largest hacking lever. It moves slowly and subtly, but you can see right underneath my finger, that's the hacking lever right there. This is a hacking seconds watch, which is uncommon on pocket watch style calibers. We have a couple of other elements worth mentioning. We have narrow stripes across the bridge. Underneath the click, we have engine turning. We have more engine turning on the base plate. We have mostly mechanically applied, but very handsome beveling on the edge of the bridges. And then we have golden chaton fixing the pivot jewels of the train, as you would have seen back in the pocket watch era. We have black polishing of the screw heads, solarization of the crown wheel core and the ratchet wheel, and then we have satination on both the click and the click spring. And again, this is all 30 meters water resistant in dress watch fashion. The no date sub is the core submariner. The Speedmaster Professional Moonwatch is the core Speedmaster. And something like a JLC Reverso tribute to 1931 is the latter-day core version of the famous Reverso collection. At IWC, Pilot's Watches and Portuguesers are the twin pillars of the brand. And if you want to know which one is the definitive Portugueser, this is a great candidate. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.